Well, a teenager gone too soon, but his family believes they found the perfect way to honor his memory. WGN's Judy Wang tells us about a wiffle ball tournament dedicated to helping future student athletes. 55 teams from first graders to adults. There's a strike. This was Bennett Taft's favorite thing to do every day, every summer. Every summer, me and him, wiffle ball every day. Just whatever, we wake up, go play wiffle ball, go home, eat, wiffle ball. Joining family on the field, Little League teammates, classmates, friends, best friend. Memories will just come to me during the day and stuff like that. And like with playing with football, baseball, basketball, like everything like that. All of us kids love playing with football and like he, he was always the best. So we, we wanted to support him. This was the inaugural wiffle ball tournament to benefit BT8, a foundation created in honor of Bennett Taft. A sports fanatic, Bennett died of an asthma attack in February at age 13. Itasca police officer Keith Endress was the first to respond to the emergency call. Having that happen to me in my career, obviously it affected me harder than anyone can ever expect. Um, and it, it was a complete honor for me to come out and throw that first pitch and just be a part of this and be a part of Bennett's family for for the rest of my life for sure. Sunday's 10-hour tournament took place behind Bennett School, Peacock Junior High. Money raised went towards a scholarship to be awarded to a Lake Park High School athlete. Bennett's mom came up with the idea after her son's memorial service. It was just a sea of baseball uniforms and basketball uniforms and I just wanted to give back to the community that he grew up in. Um, so today, large part of this proceeds are going to go to a scholarship fund that we hope to give out at the end of the school year. The nonprofit also held a silent auction and raffle. Prizes were donated by businesses and Chicago sports teams. The goal was to raise $10,000. The only thing I asked Bennett for was sunshine, and he made that happen for us, so we're happy. I know he's beaming from ear to ear. And Itasca, Judy Wang, WGN News.